Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Boring Company and SpaceX warehouse updates here at Bastrop, Texas. Well, I'm back out at the SpaceX warehouse that's being built here in Bastrop, Texas, and it's just across the street from the Boring Company, and we're going to get a chance to see both sites today. Uh, the last time I was here was the 18th of December, so there's been quite a bit of changes. And as I talk, I'll show you a few pictures here that are a comparison between the 18th of December and today, the 16th of January, 2003. A lot of progress, particularly on the roof with most of the weatherproof membrane has been installed. They've been doing some work right behind me here, as you can see with that main entrance and that kind of the architectural feature with that black band that kind of rises up at this corner and gives kind of a very interesting look to this particular facility. And then I do a 360 degree tour around this facility so you can get a chance to see how it looks today. And again, it's just uh, neat to see another facility being completed here. Now people are going to ask, what is this for? I'm not really sure. There's some speculations. It's for uh, Starlink production, but it's listed as a warehouse, about a 521,000 square foot warehouse to be exact. The completion date is expected to be March 2023, so just a few months away. So it'll be interesting to see how this facility looks uh, when it gets closer to being completed. But anyway, I'll go ahead and I'll stop this and change over and we'll take a look at the Boring Company intro next. All right, so I've just turned the camera around and right behind me is the Boring Company here in Bastrop, Texas as well. And it's literally right across the street from the SpaceX warehouse. Now, as you can see by this image here, there's some um, comparisons of the last time I was here, which was the 18th of December. So about a month has passed. And from these images, you can tell that there has been a lot of changes, particularly in and around where they have the test loop tunnel already dug that goes underneath the road right behind me over to the SpaceX facility. And you can also see a lot more details in the southeast corner where you can see another foundation for one of the housing complexes for the people that live and work here at the Boring Company. But uh, otherwise, I'll give you a 360 degree tour around the Boring Company site as well. And I hope that you enjoy the views and the uh, information that I will talk about a little bit as we go through the video itself. And as always, thank you very much for your great support, uh, especially with my Giga Texas uh, videos, but also now out here at the SpaceX and the Boring Company uh, sites as well. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the videos and have a great rest of the week. Take care. For this flight this morning, we start off on the east side of the building. We can take a look at how the structure itself has transformed over the last uh, month, and also how this material storage and staging location appears. It's much more orderly than it was a month ago. You can see some of those white uh, containers are some more materials uh, for a building of the structure. You can also see some trailers and, of course, the contractor uh, shop trailers here on the end of the building. As we continue to uh, turn the drone around, you can see the remnants of some of these farmhouses that are part of the land that was purchased when uh, SpaceX decided to start building the structure here. Another thing you can notice is that almost all of the receiving doors on this side of the building appear to be completed. There's some higher level small rectangular windows I don't think there's any glass in them yet, but there are doors in the receiving uh, uh, docks, and there are also several different sizes. You can see here the much larger one compared to the standard size receiving doors. The other thing that I notice is that there's a lot less ponded water than there was in December, and much of the grade around the building has been improved. And as you can see, there's actually some ongoing work going right now. Uh, in and around the building. Now it's really hard to tell, but in the black trim strip, there's actually several uh, more doors, uh, some cargo doors and regular doors. It's just really hard to see with that trim strip. 
You can also see that the roof is about 99% completed with the weatherproof membrane. As we approach this corner of the building, we can see how that black trim strip kind of bends up and it gives a very nice architectural feature to the building. I think this is going to be the main entrance. It looks like uh, there's going to be probably some uh, dark tinted uh, black glass in where they're putting the framework. And I think it gives it an overall great look to this building that would otherwise just be a white box. Now in the middle of the screen you can see a boring tunnel. This connects to the boring company, goes underneath the road, and it exits on both sides. They have doors that slide to uh, shut them. And also they were featured uh, about a month and a half ago from the Boring Company as a small Hyperloop test uh, device. So uh, I don't know how accurate that is, but uh, that is what they had published. But this is a really good overall view of how the front of the building appears now. Again, you can see that architectural feature on the left-hand side of the building. The open section here on this corner was actually finished off by the time I completed the flight around the two sites today. So with that completed, the main white wall installation is uh, complete. In fact, you can see that forklift bringing over the last of the panels right now. So as I mentioned, this is very close to the Boring Company. In fact, uh, we're just uh, turning around over this road that separates the two facilities. And here is the Boring Company facility in Bastrop, Texas. Its uh, address is 130 Walker Watson Road. And you can see how this site looks today. Quite a bit of equipment on the left-hand side of the screen in that uh, sort of that uh, foreground pasture area. The driveway here that goes to the larger of the uh, warehouses is for deliveries, at least that's how it's posted. And then here with that uh, circular boring tunnel segment, this is the main entrance and that's where the Boring Company sign is. Now here you can see quite a bit of the concrete segments for boring tunnels have been made and are stacked in the uh, foreground near the front uh, fence. There's actually um, these white towers. They look like uh, tanks. This and then the taller tanks with the red. This is the on-site concrete uh, batch and manufacturing plant as from what I understand. Also, this large item, the truss structure, the white with the black on the top, as I understand it, these are kind of conveyors that uh, are responsible for removing the dirt from the actual bore of the uh, tunnel that is it's being made. You can see a proof rock uh, uh, tunneling device here uh, at the bottom of the screen. And I don't think it's actually drilling. It looks like this is more a uh, holding point for it. You can see there's actually a concrete kind of a funnel where the, uh, the rusted steel part is resting and it does not go into the ground. I originally thought that it might be boring a second tunnel, but it's not. You can also see the uh, other tunnel with that sliding door and a lot of concrete has been poured in that section. In fact, the yellow crane is sitting on some of that new concrete. As I continue to pull away towards the south, you can get a better idea of how the overall site looks. In that rounded uh, sprung structure or Quonset hut, you can see what looks like to be more boring tunnel components at that uh, uh, doorway. Now these houses are, from what I understand, they allow the workers when they're in town uh, to uh, have a place to stay and uh, also it just, uh, it's a nice thing to have since they're kind of out in the country and they're traveling quite a bit. You can see in the middle where it's like a tennis court and there's also a swimming pool that's sort of the uh, on-site gym for the employees. And also we can see a new foundation being prepared. So it looks like they are going to be expanding the on-site housing even more than what it is right now. So that's uh, kind of neat to see that that's a feature for this uh, facility. This larger warehouse was completed about uh, maybe four or five months ago. It's a big addition to the site. You can see some equipment underneath that awning on the left-hand side of the screen, and also just uh, some more of these trailers and uh, equipment on this portion of the facility. And we'll continue to uh, turn the drone back towards the main facility, and I'll give you a few more closer end views of the uh, activity and some of the equipment that is going on here. 
but hopefully this view gives you a really good idea of how this facility is laid out and some of the uh, changes, especially if you take a look at the intro where I show you some comparisons that uh, have happened over the last month. And you can see there's two large doors into that warehouse on this side as well. Uh, as I had mentioned earlier, you can see these concrete segments that are being stacked up. Those are what line the actual bore of the tunnel. And you can see the main entrance sign using that tunnel segment. There's quite a bit of other materials and equipment here in front of the Quonset hut. Uh, I am not sure what all of it is, but if you are a uh, knowledgeable boring company enthusiast and if you can identify some of these parts uh, let me know in the comments section I'd appreciate it but I'm gonna get ready to do a pull away I'm gonna fly up and over the SpaceX site so it gives you a good view of the relationship between the two sites and also a little bit of the country uh, where the two sites are located and uh, I'll bring the drone up just a little bit higher to give you a kind of a bird's eye view of the activity here. Now I know people have asked, will there be solar panels on the SpaceX warehouse? I really can't say for sure as I don't know, but I would suspect that that uh, is something that they will consider in the near future. And also as we pull back, we'll be just about over the Colorado River, which leads to Giga Texas about 15 miles to the west from this facility. So there you go, SpaceX Warehouse and the Boring Company here on 16 January, 2023. I hope you enjoyed the tour and the information. As always, thanks for your support. Have a great day.